Bernardo Causa de la Samiento is the managing director in charge of digitalization, technology, and agribusiness at the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. What, in your assessment, are the most important challenges holding back Africa's industrialization drive? At UNIDO, we see it from a point of view of integration of global value chains. So far, uh, the uh, integration into the international market has been a, a, a pathway for industrialization. But what is important for African countries is to look inwards, to look into the inter uh, market. And this is the big challenge. What is holding back is this constant viewing abroad and not seeing that this continent has a big potential. A big potential if it integrates, there is production capacities, there are skills people, there are raw materials. Certainly, as we heard this morning, one of the big, big gaps is investment. Speaking of integration, the continental free trade area went into operation over a year ago. What opportunities exist there for countries to boost their manufacturing capacities? So one important element for uh, investment to happen is to have the institution in place, and this can happen through a, a, a regional integration. I strongly believe in what is called the subsidiarity principle, that not everything has to be looked at the pan-continental level. We have then the different sub-regional le levels, but there is a role for the countries also to be played. And at the level of the countries, it's very important to create the conditions by investing in infrastructure, uh, for example, special economic zones, they will bring this possibility for investment into a given sector. And among the sectors, I believe there is a huge potential now that we are witnessing a food security crisis to invest in food, to invest in, in agri-industrial development so that the continent can secure its foods on its own. You mentioned special economic zones and countries such as Ethiopia have been actively creating industrial parks over the last 10 years. Is this the right model to go about making Africa a manufacturing hub? UNIDO has identified the industrial parks, uh, the economic zones, as one key mean of implementation of SDG 9 of inclusive, sustainable industrial development because it creates the necessary ecosystem. You bring together in one place the infrastructure, you develop the skills, you provide all the, 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 the services for the industrial park. This attracts very much the, the, the investor. The case of uh, Ethiopia, uh, and uh, the, we have in Dir Malayan a, a very good example, 100,000 jobs direct jobs created, 400,000 jobs, indirect uh, uh, jobs created. Uh, this is very attractive for a government. The case of Ethiopia certainly is a bit different. They have certain conditions. They have this abundance of uh, labor. They have their uh, geographical situation. So we believe in this model, but it is not one size fit all. We need to adjust to the different conditions of the country. What about manufacturing technology? Should countries make tech transfer a condition for foreign direct investors? I strongly believe this is not the right way to do, not the conditionality, because investment will bring the technology if uh, the conditions are there. Uh, uh, we, we have seen uh, last week we had at the WTO the waiver for uh, the, the patents for uh, COVID vaccines. Uh, will Africa benefit from it? Most of the countries have not the conditions to do it. So I think that if you uh, have the, the, the more basic condition to benefit and, and to attract investment, you will then automatically bring the technology along. Bernardo Causa de la Samiento, nice to have you. Thank you very much for your time.